this girl? Where is in came the name? Huh? Where could she be by this time of the night? She's not at her uncle's house. Or does it mean that she has gone to Soshima's house? Eh? For she used to come back early whenever she goes to Soshima's house. Where are you? Get the lamb! Hey! To the hospital to donate blood to a woman who is not in any way related to you. What if something happens to you? Mama, nothing happens to me. And anybody can render help to anyone. The woman needed my help, so I helped her. Eh? You are now a helper. You came the lame. Mama, the thing is that Sochima is a very good friend. And the mother was very sick and our blood happened to be the same blood group. So I decided to help. Eh? Kem Delim, this is beyond help. You took a very big risk. Had it been something happened to you, they would come and tell me sorry. And I'll become childless. Eh? Mama, I'm sorry. I understand your fear. But I'm fine. Nothing happened to me. Mama, you see, this life is very small. Oh. Yes, I helped them today. But tomorrow, Sochima could become somebody. He could make it in this life and turn around and help us. Mm -hmm. Mrs. Helper. Mrs. Helper. Oh, I forget. I got Boba Ziggy Helper. On your name, Maka. Nkem de Lem. Nkem de Lem. No problem. I just drop here. Sochima. See that girl again. She's a good child. I mean, look at what she did for me. She actually saved my life. If not for that girl, I, I would have been dead by now. Mama, yeah. I'm still very, very surprised. Ah. I never thought she would go that far. I didn't see that coming, Mama. Oh, no. She's a good child. Huh? A wife material. Anybody married to that girl, eh? I ah, will enjoy. Unlike that, you Demma or whatever. She wouldn't have done this kind of thing. Mbano. She's too selfish. Self-centered. Mama, I understand how you feel. But you can't compare both of them. They're two different people. I know you're two different people. They're expected to act differently, Mama. But even at that, differently but positively. Or for the positive or for the negative. That is the problem. Anyway. I intend to go and see um, in Kem Dilim tomorrow. Let me visit and say thank you. Mama, that's the right thing to do. Mama, can we go tomorrow? You get some jelly? Yeah, I want to follow you. Let's oh, go together. Well, we will go together. That is the right thing of to course, do. Of course, of course. She really, really surprised me. Uh, I, 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 didn't, I didn't see that coming. She went too far. Not I care. You are the reason that I am alive today. Eh? You gave me blood when I didn't even have money to buy it. My God will bless you. Mama, I'm just so happy that you're fine now. Hi. Mama, do you know my mother did not know I was going to donate blood? She didn't know. Are I'm just serious? glad that everything went fine. Hey, Chukun now. <laughs> what would she have said or done to me 
if anything had happened to you. Nothing happens. God, I thank you. You know, Chikwa Bande Nkei. Aye. See how people just come into your life at the right time. God bless you, mom. And bless your mother too. Amen. For bringing up such a good child. Thank you, mom. I'm glad you're oh, fine now. I'm fine now. <laughs> I'm fine. Okay. Mm. Mm. Mama. Mama. Are you going to the market today? Yes, Mama. Today is market now. Have you forgotten? Uh -uh. No, you are not going anywhere. Why? So after donating blood to someone else, you still want to go to the market to say, what if you fall on the road? Ma, eh? Eh? Is that why you are shouting? Don't worry, nothing is going to happen to me. I am fine, I'm strong. Look at me. In okay, Kemdelem, I know you are strong, but you are not going anywhere. No? Eh, no go? Uh, mama, uh, you get better. In Kemdelem, you are my only child. Eh? If anything happens to you, I will not survive it. Please, go inside. Oh? Keep these ones. Tomorrow you can continue. Mama, I don't hey, no like go. this kind of thing. You know I don't like to be idle. I like to be busy. I like to go and hustle. I know. Don't worry yourself. Tomorrow you can go. Eh? I know we don't have much. We don't have enough, but I can manage. We can manage, you know. Please, just keep those things there. Go, go and keep the vegetables well, we there. Tomorrow you go. Oh? it again and why are you always shouting <laughs> so you think donating that infected blood can steal Sochima from me right that's what you think now listen no matter what you do Sochima will never love you so stay clear of him who gave birth to you is it a dog because you always shouting barking like a mad dog anytime I see you what is it I'm barking like a mad dog yes because I'm fighting for what rightfully belongs to me right I'm barking like a mad dog <laughs> you're a fool you don't have sense, you're very stupid. In fact, it is gum that is in this your brain. You have the guts to show this your ugly face here when you refuse to donate your blood for the mother of the man you claim to love. Are you not ashamed of yourself? I'm not ashamed of anything. Eh? I'm not ashamed of anything. Listen, I think you did not only donate your blood, you donated your senses because it's your empty skull. There is nothing inside. Eh? But no matter how much you try, Sochima will never leave me for you. So stay clear. Happy Aka. Sorry for you. Leave my man alone. I feel very, very sorry for you. I have said this before and I am going to say it again. I have nothing with Sochima. I have my man, okay? So take your dirty stinking self out of this place because... I'm not going anywhere. Do your worst. Mm. Yes. You're not going to go. You're not going to remove your mm -hmm. smelling self out of okay. here. Wait for me, I'm coming. I'm waiting for no, you. No, I'm coming. Don't I'm waiting. Wait. You think I'm scared of you? I'm waiting for you. Come, okay? Let me, let me. Ah, ah, no, no, stand! Ah, stand, no! Ah, wait! Break your leg. Yeah. I'm off ya. No, you would have waited. Come back. Come back now. Let me let me let me let me break. Let me break your, your, your leg for you. For tiny legs. Donate blood, you will not donate. Support the man, you will not support him. Oh yeah. Ara. You want to, you, you, you want me to leave Sochima for you? No. No. I'm, I'm I'm going to his house. I don't I can't no, I can't I can't this I can't take it. I can't take it again. <laughs> Huh? Thank God. Thank God that I just found you, Shotima. I was actually on my way to your house. What happened? Help me and warn your girlfriend. Talk to her. Tell her to leave me alone, Ogini. Eh? Why is she harassing me? What did she do? She, she came to my house, insulted me, called me all sorts of names. But the one that paid me the most was that she said I gave your mother infected blood. Hey. How can she say anything like that? She's mad. She's mad. That girl is mad. Talk to her. Oh. Chain her. Chain her. Uh, Tell her to leave me alone. In fact, I have made up my mind. I will stop coming to your house. Yes, I will stop coming to your house. Nee, it hasn't got it has that passed now. like that. It has passed like that. This girl is harassing me. She's insulting me because I'm helping you out. Listen, I'm so sorry. Eh? I'm so sorry. Listen, I'm going to talk to her. She doesn't have any right to say that to you. Eh? But please, you care about my mother and I. 
would you rather turn your back on us because of my girlfriend? You wouldn't do that. I know you, you're a good person. She's doing all these things because she helped me with my assignment when I wanted to write my, my work exam. But I, I, I'm so sorry. I'm going to talk to her. But please, eh? Please. I know you're a good person, but just, just, just please, don't, don't get upset because of her. Please. Biko, let's go. I'm going to talk to her, I promise you. Eh? I'll talk to her. I don't know what's wrong with that girl every time. I'm sorry. I'm sorry about it. I'm sorry. That's how she goes around fighting everybody. I don't know what's wrong with that girl. Mm -hmm. <laughs> You're so beautiful and very tall. <laughs> <laughs> and that has been established. <laughs> I'm just praying for good health, long life, and of course prosperity so yes. I can take care of you. Prosperity, definitely. Mm. <laughs> I'm so happy to have you here again. I really missed you. I miss you too. Uh -huh. Sweetheart. Yes. What was your call sister doing with uh, Sochima? Nothing is going on between them. Why do you ask? Uh, you mean we're not aware that they are dating? No, dating. And Ken Dillon told me that she has a fiance in the city. I don't think there's anything going on between she and. Because I saw them yesterday when I was coming back from the farm in a romantic way, like lovers. Really? Yeah. Wait, are you sure of what you're saying? I'm very sure. This is unbelievable. Because she told me that they are just friends. Yes. Well, you never can tell. You know love grows. So it is possible they have developed love for, for each other. I don't believe that. I think they're just friends. Well, um, let's forget about them. Okay? Mm -hmm. Let's talk about our friends. Keep back, Lydia. This is talking about another person. How are you? Fine, I missed you. I missed you too. Mm -hmm. Oh? Baby. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I can go on up. Oh, please, 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 please. Don't even start. Uh, don't even start. See, please. I've locked it with padlock and I've thrown the key away after marriage. After marriage, I'll go and get the key and open it. So what for you, now, zip up. But you got the thing? Mm hmm Eh? Yes. Just look at my waist now. Eh? Let me open them now. Naughty eh? boyfriend. <laughs> go, Joe. Go. Come you started. Now, let's go. go to where? Yeah. Eh? Don't even start. Don't start. Okay. After marriage. Wait, oh. So, Yeni Nana no know that is not even a lie. Not a lie, yo. You can imagine. Eh? Wait, oh, do you know that everybody in this village, Neoku, that these people, they go to the farm together, mm -hmm. market together, mm -hmm. ordinary water, each mm -hmm. million together. Together. Hey! So they now act like married couple. No bother no one. That means Dima is right. Oh this why. <laughs> one name why. Let us keep going. This one is just like a dream. Dream. Dream! Who dreamy? Unlo? Who dreamy? Oh, food is 
ready. So, where's the water now? Chewing. Papa. Why did you have to serve me uh, food with two pieces of meat only? Why? But Papa, this is the number of meat I normally serve you with. And besides, the money you gave me to cook was not much. I even had to manage it. So, you mean the money I gave to you was not enough? You cannot manage it to give me three pieces of meat? Is that yeah. all? Eh, qua, Papa. Three pieces of meat. Papa, do you mean that two pieces of meat is not enough for you to eat? See, see, see why I have seen two of you. There is need for you to go out there and get married so that you can begin to assume that position of your wife and mother in your home. Papa, we are not married yet. We are still single. So, is this how you will misuse your husband's money in future and give him two pieces of meat? When he gives you money to go to the market? Papa, be cool. Please, I don't have strength to start arguing this afternoon. Because I know you want to start arguments now. Please eat your food. That's all we have in the kitchen. Me, arguing in my own house. Ha! These children. I am arguing in my own house now. Don't worry. I will I shall soon sell one of you there to this rich allergy boys. Where who will take good care of me? Keep on sitting in my house and eating fat. All in the name of we are still small girls. No sense. Too tasty. Mama? Oh, no. You're done with your food. Hey, you're asking. I finished everything now. Hey, Mama. Mm? Did you like it? Ah, I loved it. The food did too tasty. See now? I cleared the whole plate. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Mama. God bless you, Mama. Hey, no. <laughs> Is there anything else I can do for you? Hey, Mba, Ekuzina, you've done enough for already, Biko. Mama, don't worry. I'm not complaining. I'm here to help you. Anything at all. I need you to rest. Mama, I need to do something for you. Do you need me to sweep your room, wash your dirty clothes, anything? Oh, my dirty clothes. I have a number one. Yeah, I have some dirty clothes. Say no more. Where can I find those dirty clothes? Inside my room, on, on the bed. I, I tied it, the dirty clothes, with one wrapper. Okay, I'll go and get them. Down, wash them. Mama, just relax here. I've put water for you to bake on fire. As soon as it's ready, I'll mix it and come and call you. Oh, oh what do you need, Lozo? Just relax and get well for us. Hi! Hi! Hey! Delim. Yeah, Delim. Hey! Oh, what don't call that day, my friend? I have put them on toto. I am a guinea, a same digage, you are a war, a swa swa, a zaza, cave I have budia. Cabo retirement benefits now. Eh, I have an uncan and so so. Hey, oh wow. I chose to do good. No one can stop me. Just to be a helper, cause I do not know what future holds for me. You can't go out. Mano, I'm fine. No. Mhm. I remember your betting water is getting cold. Mhm. If that's all, let me finish the go out first. Don't talk. Oh, what kind of? My name has become a bit out of it. Well, I'll take it easy. You know you have cough. Okay. We are alone. Mama. Easy. I'm oh, sorry. I wanted to sing for you while you are washing. We are alone. We are alone. I chose to do good. No one can stop me. I chose to be a helper. 
Because I do not know. Is it not your phone that has been ringing since? Mama, I heard it. It's Chinedu calling now. Pick his call. <laughs> Mama, don't worry. I'm busy. I'll call him back later. Oh, I need to go and finish up so that I hurry to the market. My customers will start waiting for me. Don't worry, I'll call him. Delim, why did you start avoiding Chinedu's call? Hey! Nkem Delim has really changed though. I don't understand this girl anymore. Ogene, Ogene Buzinka. Hey. 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 Okay. I've been calling you all day. Why aren't you picking my calls? I'm sorry, I forgot my phone at home when I went to the market to sell vegetables earlier. Okay, very soon you will stop this vegetable business. I'm coming back soon and I will open a new business for you. When are you coming back? This December. I can't wait to see my beautiful damsel once again. I miss you so much. Why are you silent? Don't you miss me? Uh, yes, of course I. I miss you. I mean, it's been so long. How is business? Oh, business is doing fine. I want you to stop this vegetable business. I'll be sending you some money for your upkeeping and also take care of Mama. I thought you said we would talk about it when you when you come back. I I don't like this idea of stopping my business. I know what is for now. I will take care of you. Please, I don't like this. When you when you come back. You sound weird. Hope all is well. Yes, all is well. I, I am just tired, okay? Let's talk some other time. Okay, I'll call you back tomorrow morning. Good night. I love you. Good night. Stop. Come on, darling. You know how much I love you. Are you sure? <laughs> are you very, 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 very sure that you love me? <laughs> Why are you asking me this kind of question? As if you don't know how much I love you. I know huh? you love me. I know that your love for me is one in a million. I was just teasing you. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, um, darling. Yes, dear. I'm planning on coming to meet your people. <coughs> what, what is it? What is it? What did you say? I want to come and marry you. Really? Yes. Please, you have to give me some time, okay? Please. <sighs> Baby, you know it's over three years now. You and I have been dating. <sighs> I think it's high time we got married, please. Okay, I'll talk to my father about it. You mean you will? I'll talk to my father. You already will tell you when I will come with my people. I'll talk to him. Fine. I will wait, okay? But please, don't keep me waiting for a long time. No, I will not. You know I'm eager <laughs> to get married to you. I'll try my best. Mm -hmm. Baby, mm -hmm. I know I don't have much. But I will take care of you with the little I have, okay? I love you so much. I love you too. I love you. Yeah. Can't wait to be with you. I can't wait to. Sure the best. I'll talk to my father and I'll get back to you, okay? Please do. Chi? Yes? You mean you make her propose to you? Yes. Wait, are you serious? Ha. Have I ever made any joke before to you? I'm very serious. I'm not joking about it. He proposed. Then accept him. You know I can't. 
Why can't you? I, I thought you love him. I love him, but Papa, of course. You know the way Papa behaves when we are not bringing a rich husband. Papa wants someone that will, will come with a car, will, will have a house. Will do, you know Papa will not accept. What is wrong with you? What do you mean? You mean you want to throw the man that loves you wholeheartedly because of Papa? You want to throw him away? You love him, he loves you, you know he treats you good. You want to just let go of him because of Papa? See, if I were you, I would tell him to bring his people to come and pay my bride price. Just forget Papa, forget whatever he says, his complaint and all that. Are you sure? Yes, I'm sure. Tell him to bring his people and pay your bride price. <laughs> After all, is he Papa that will live with him? If I were you, that is what I would do. I don't care what Papa says. I refuse to see me. I don't understand. Sochima, you don't take my calls. You don't call back. You don't check up on me to know if I'm doing fine. I've been busy with work. Oh, really? You've been busy with Mkendelim? <laughs> you think I don't know? Hmm? The news is everywhere in the village. People get to see you but around, you know, go around the village, play love, do everything. So tell me, if there's a reason why you've been avoiding me. I've not been avoiding you. I have not been avoiding you. Rather, you've been the one avoiding my mother. Yes. So, because she comes here, sweep the compound, wash clothes for your mother, cook for her, she suddenly becomes a better woman than I am. Oh yes, she's far better than you. She's far better than you are. You have said it all. She's a wife material. She's every man's dream. But you? No. You love money more than your life. So it's true. So Chima, so it's true that you're dumping me for that girl. After all, we've been through together. It is your fault. So Chima, who started from secondary school? I did your assignments for you. During our work, I sat in the exam hall. I wrote for you and I wrote for myself. Now you want to dump me for her? Did you not hear me? I said it is your fault. It is your fault. You changed. You become someone else. You became something different. You know my mother is sick. And when I ask you to take care of her, you begin to ask me for money. So you want me to pay you before you take care of my mother? There's something wrong with you. It's all right. I can see that your mind is made up. It's okay. Bye bye. You love money more than your life. So, Chima, woman. Mama. What I am about to tell you, hmm? Hmm. but in reality. What is it now? You see that girl they call him Kem Dilim? Mm-hmm. for be wife material. Anybody married to that girl, eh? <laughs> Your life is made. She is such a natural, she is good. Eh? And she really, really loves you. Oh, my deep love, genuine love for you, pure love for you. Eh? And will do anything for you. Unlike that, you know, the mark on the, get this, whatever she is. That one, all she wants is money, money, money. And that's money you do not have. So if you just hook on to that one, if all you're a may, you won't even like it. But you see, in Game Delim, hey, if you marry that girl, eh? You are a made man. Mama, what makes you think she loves me? <laughs> I like that question. Let me give you the answer. 
I am an old woman. I see very, very far. And I'm a fuzo. You know, when she comes here to feed me or bring food for me, hey, at the mention of your name, her reactions, the way she will smile, she starts glowing, every, everything about her changes. Nam, and I see it in her eyes. That girl is in love with you. Don't do that. Do not do that. I'm so, telling you. Mama, you are saying I should marry her. You hit the nail on the head, Mama. That's exactly what I want you to do. If you marry that girl, Mom, you have nothing to worry about. She will take care of you. Besides, the sacrifice she made for this family, not even that damn man can make it. Nobody else, not in this day and century, is only in Kemdelin because she genuinely loves you. It's okay, Mama. I'll, I'll talk to you. Some, some. That's why I always talk about you. Any child that listens to his mother eh, will go very far. If you go get one, he can go far. Especially with the candlelight beside you. <laughs> Una gaba gaba gaba. Hey, what a wonderful move. <laughs> hey. Nikkei Fan, how are you? I'm fine, though, my sister. You're fine. <laughs> it's not good, though. The way you patriot in your own sister. Both of you just forgot about me. Well, since you forgot about me, I decided to come and see you. Eh? Don't say that now. How can you say that we forgot about you? Eh? Is it not Papa and his Wahala? Sometimes I feel so tired to leave this compound. If you leave this compound now, he will conclude, eh, he went to see one village boy. A village boy that cannot feed himself. A village boy that has no parental care. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> parental. how are you? I'm fine, thank you, sir. What about your mom? She's fine, sir. Good. <laughs> you see, I am going out now. And you, as I'm going out, make sure you don't invite those your useless boys into this house. <laughs> because if you do, when I come back, you, you know I will know. And you know what that means. Are you hearing me? Yes, Papa. Uh -huh. It's not going to be fine at all. Oh, okay. Uncle. Bye-bye. Uh -huh. Okay, my dear. Papa, bye bye you. Mm. <laughs> 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 my uncle will never change. Hi. <laughs> don't know my father. Hey. Hey. <laughs> Forget about Papa. Yeah. Okay, what is this I'm hearing about you and Sochima that you both are dating? Dating what? Me. And they don't believe everything you hear. It's not true. Sochima and I are just friends. You're just friends. Are you sure? Remember that Nidu is coming this December to pay mm. your bride price. You just sounded like Mama. Yeah. How is it even possible that I will forget that my own fiancé is coming to pay my bride price this December? As in how? Thank you. I would forget about Nidu for Sochima that is suffering like me in the village. Because leave that thing. The news is flying everywhere. Well, you guys are just friends, yes, but what else would the villagers see? Let them see. I think not their eyes there isn't to see. Anything they want to see, they should see. Please. Okay. It's not true. Yeah, I believe you. Um, go in and get me cold mode. Very cold. Let me just relax. <laughs> you have come now. Yeah, I'm cold. Hey, but I missed you. Thank God you came to see me. I will just be seeing you. You know, to leave this house is a problem. <laughs> <laughs> Where is Chisum? I've not seen her. Ah, there's this new work Chisum started doing. I tell you, at least he's giving her some small money. Her own is even better safe. At least she has reasons to leave the house. Me, I don't yeah, have. I'm so she went, <laughs> she went to work. <laughs> hey, yeah. My name is Nemeka from Umuma village. I'm here to see Chimu. You are here to see Chimu? Yes, sir. Oh, so you are one of those riffraffs who are about deceiving my daughters all in the name of love, is that not? I don't understand you, Mazi. 
What wrong have I done? Ah, you're asking me questions. Now, let me tell you. If you do not leave my compound this moment with your filthy self, by the time I go in there and come out, you are a dead man. Do I make myself? Ah, you me? Take this, your filthy legs, and get out of my compound before I paralyze you. Maybe you think I want to keep. By the time I finish dealing with you, those who know you will not be able to recognize you again. Look at him. Look at the one who calls himself a man. Look, look at what he's even putting on like as a trouser. Is that trouser even short? He cannot even buy small slippers. Imagine. Look at the cotton he's using as slippers. Then that kind of non-entity of a boy wants to come and marry my daughter or come and see my daughter. Who knows what you people are thinking? Let it not be what I'm thinking anyway. Because if somebody like you come to me to say you want to have my daughter's hand in marriage, I, I, I'll finish your life on sex. You can imagine the kind of man that visits my house because of you. Huh? Fine boy, no money. Papa, I don't understand you. You are the one that keeps saying you want us to get married, you want us to get married. Now a suitor has come to ask for my for my hand in marriage, you're chasing him away. When eh? I asked your sister to get married to the, to, to uh, Chuka the other time, did she accept him? Papa, no now. Papa, you know more. Chuku Somaga can never and will never marry any how man. Come on, men, Papa. Do <laughs> not call Chuka any how man. Chuka and that useless Jonathan, whom both of you loiter the village anyhow. Who is better off? Papa. Papa, you cannot find a husband for me. Papa, you're not the one to find a husband for me. I am beautiful, presentable, and smart enough to find my own husband. Papa, no now. You're not the one to find a husband for me. Papa, please, I don't like what you're doing. I don't like what you're doing. Nemeka is the right man for me. I love him and I'm going to marry him. He has already proposed to me. So it's left for you to accept and let's get this marriage done. <laughs> and who will receive the bride first? Moi. <laughs> you had better go for free. You know, it's better for you. Go for free. Because me, I cannot take bride price from that girl. But when I'm still alive, if you dare get married to that girl, Oh well, yes, I will. Look, let me tell you something. When a father is taking his time, because seeing how he can make your life better, and you decide to take your life, it burns and it hurts. I am trying my best for you, children. But why are you giving me this pain? No sense. I told you that Papa was said. I told you, you are the one that told me that I should tell him. Now he's keen against it. How will I not get married without my father's consent? What is wrong with you? Eh? Just pack and go to his house. When you give birth to one, two kids, Papa will be the one begging you to call him to bring bride price. He'll be begging you to, for him to come and pay your bride price. I must marry Nemeka. Nemeka, I love Nemeka. I must marry Nemeka. I've come over. She know I've not set eyes on you for a long time. After the day I told you about getting married to you. So, I was worried. I can't marry you. I will not marry you. What? Why? Obim, you know I love you so much. But I can't marry you because my father has to give his consent. So we just have to go our separate ways. Please. Just because. I don't have money, right? Huh? It's not about money. You know I love you so much. You know my heart belongs to you. Enough! Your father wants you girls to get married to rich husband, right? Forgetting that something may turn off for good tomorrow. My business might grow. And I will leave this village to the city. I promise you. Please, I have to go now. You are living like that, right?
Sachima, this one you called me to come out this early. I hope there is no problem. I'm sorry to disturb you. I hope he has nothing to do with Mama. No. It's far from that. Okay. Okay. Well, I have to tell you something important. What is it? I have come to love you. Yes. I'm in love with you. And I want you to marry me. I want you to be my wife. I, I don't think I can spend my life with another woman. Um, Sochima, what are you even saying? We are not dating, we are just friends. I know we're just friends, but I want our friendship to... to become... something bigger. I, I, I want... I want us to get married. I want you to become the mother of my children. Listen, my mother wants you to... to be her daughter-in-law. And... Like I said, I don't think I can spend my, my life with another woman. You're serious? I'm very serious. But, Sochima, you know I have a fiancé. What will I tell him when he comes back? I know you have a fiancé, but what makes you think he's going to come back? What makes you think he, he's not with another woman? I love you, okay, man. I want to spend the rest of my life with you. Please say yes. Don't say no. I do not want to know what they say. I just to follow what my heart tells me. Cause I know it is a direction from the Lord. I think I am falling for him. Yes, he doesn't have money, but he is caring and gentle. I am sure he will make it tomorrow in life. So Chima, my love, I love him. I didn't show it to him because I was only pretending. Hmm? Ma? Mama? Mama? Are you okay? Yes. You are not? You are lost? Uh, uh, no. Mama, I just have a lot on my mind. I'm fine. Are you sure? Yes, Mama. <laughs> Mama, <laughs> you're, you're going out? Yes, I want to go for the women's meeting. Ah. Please take care of the house. Of course. Mm. to do good no one can stop me I chose to be a helper cause I do not know what future holds for me whichever way and come what may I know I won't regret it doesn't matter what they say. Papa, you called me. Yes. Just so you see, uh, God has answered our prayers. <laughs> Papa, what's the good news? There is this man, Chifoyoku, who is coming for your hand in marriage. He's based in Abuja. 
Papa. Papa, I'm bad now. No. Papa, no now. I mean, I, I don't even know this man. I've not met him before. Are you already talking about marriage? See? He knows you. He has seen you before and he likes you. He's based in Abuja with his wife and two kids. Wife and... Papa, you mean he's married? And you want me to marry him? Why, Papa? Papa, no. Papa. Papa, Zukwani, Kenu. You see, Chiso, Onyuku is married with two daughters but no son. Papa, you lie. I would never, I can never marry that man. I mean, Papa, whatever arrangement you have with him, just go, go ahead and cancel it because it will never work. Calm down, calm down, Chiso. The man, the man has no son and has decided to marry a second wife. Look, let me tell you, Shiso. This is somebody who is very wealthy. I will take good care of you. He has money. Huh? That is the same way I found Chuka for you when you rejected him. Which Chuka? Papa, have you ever found a good suitor for me? Oh, <laughs> you have forgotten already. Okay, don't bother. Let me remind you. I am sending you out of this house. Enough is enough. Papa. Papa, I will never get married to him. How do you expect me to get married to that riffraff? That thing, that inflatable man because of money. Papa, I will not. I will never. That man you are calling that thing is a billionaire. That your so-called useless boyfriend in the village cannot afford what that man has in the next 10 years. Eh, hey, Papa. Papa, are you God? Papa, you are not God. Oh. H-E-D me. And he can give birth to something positive for Jonathan. You are not God, Papa. You are not God. Look at stop. This is a man that if you get married to him, he's ready to do anything for a woman that is ready to accept him as a, Papa, as a husband. I will never accept him. I will never accept him. I'm okay with the way I am. I'm okay with Jonathan. I don't want anybody else. Not even to talk of that man. I will not marry him. You are stuck in... You are stuck in... I'm not even going to drop off in this village. But are you care? I'm okay with this because of your man. I will not marry him. Oh, sense useless useless thing. I'm talking, you are talking. You will see, the end is come for you. Hope you have remembered. Papa, that one. That, that, that full of man. That ugly man. Papa, how do you even expect me to marry that kind of man? No, no, no. If I marry that one, the, 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 how will my future children look like? Papa, no, 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 no. So let me tell you. If you reject this one, I will chase you out of my house. Papa, no problem. No problem. Because you will chase me out of this house. I will never marry him. Papa, how do you even expect me to marry a man with wife and two kids? When there are lots of single men out there, you, you, you keep rejecting them because you feel they don't have enough money to meet up with your, with your, with, with your demands. Papa, no problem. I will leave because I will never marry them. I will never marry any of them. I will leave because I will never marry them. Chiso, you dare walk out of me. Huh? Don't worry, no problem. We shall see. We will know who between two of us owns each other. Hey, Snedungwa. So this is you. Hmm? Is Look at you. Yeah. Eh? No, Ongwa. Thank you, ma'am. You're welcome. Chai, how is business? Oh, business is moving on fine, we thank God. Mm -hmm. God has done it for us. I can see that. I can <laughs> see that. You're looking so good. Thank you, ma'am. <laughs> Uh, Mama, where is um my baby Mkembelim, my love? Where is she? Hey, uh, Mkembelim just stepped out a few minutes ago. Oh. She will soon come back. Oh, okay. uh, she will come back. All right, no problem. Uh, uh, I will um come back to check up on her later. Uh, Thank you. Mama. It's all right. You're looking good, Mama. Mm -hmm. <laughs> all right, I got some stuff I for you, and uh, when I come back, now, I'll bring them. Okay. Hi. Thank, Thank you, you very All much. Right, eh? okay. Hey! So finally he is back. Chai! Mkemdelim will be so happy to see him. Chai. Mama, did you say he came here today? He came here ranting and shouting. On our back. He said you should leave Mkemdelim alone. Because I don't have money. 
Yes, because I don't have money. That's the only reason why you do that. No, cancel this marriage. If you ask me. Forget it, no. But when you have a wedding. Mama, cancel the marriage. Why? Yourself. If you don't have the money, then you give it. I mean, if one member of the family doesn't get on with you, then you should cancel it. No, so can the wedding now because I couldn't meet it a week ago. But Mama, he's the only one making noise. Her family accepted me already. Hey, Mom. There's something you should know about marriage. Marriage is no child's play. I mean, look at you. The minute you start having problems with someone in the family because you don't have money, I've got a serious problem. So I would suggest that you just go make money first before you start thinking of settling down. Mama, I love him. 